Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Carlisle events, the Chrysler National. One of my goals is to try to find some cars that you probably haven't seen. And today, Steve Price. Nice to meet you, Lou. Nice to see you has one of them. What did you bring here today? Well, we brought a 1971 Charger Super B. It's a 426 Hemi four-speed, uh, one of nine. Uh, they made 22 Hemis in uh, 71 and nine were four-speeds. So we have the four-speed 426 Hemi car here. With that being said, how long have you had this one? I've had this car about four years. And why this car out of all the cars in the world? I've dreamt about this car a Super B Hemi for since I was a kid. Actually, uh, dreamt about it. Oh yeah. Um, How did that happen? Well, who influenced you? My mom. My mom is and my stepfather. My mom mostly. She's uh, she's put the bug in my ear about Mopars. It's Mopar or no car. She. Uh, Your mom does something special. What does she do? Uh, she runs a car club up in Canada. But what did she used to do? Uh, drag race. <laughs> she, so mom's the drag, drag racer. What's she her name? Uh, Barb Wheeler. Barb Wheeler, yeah. the drag racer. Yeah, she was quite good in her what day. What was mom driving? Uh, 70 Fury in, in the beginning, and uh, actually it was a uh, 70 Challenger 3D3 automatic Challenger RT. So wait, wait, let me make sure. A woman with a Fury. Yeah, she ah. actually had to tape a wooden <laughs> block to the gas pedal to make sure it went to the floorboard while she was drag racing. <laughs> <laughs> that is great yeah, stuff. She was awesome. So, so this car you've dreamt about, mom was your inspiration. Oh, and for cars for sure. Let's go right to the car, shall we? So here we have the char the Charger in 71 is rare enough, but now we've got the 426. You're from Canada. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome friends up north. Yeah, it is an American car. American but, car. Uh, a Canadian bought it. <laughs> and here we have the back end. Now the reason why I'm focusing on the back end right off the bat is these tail lights are different than a regular Charger RT. Mm -hmm. The Charger RTs have some louvered tail lights and you can see and that it, on the channel. Yeah. And these look, what did you say Steve? They look more I, like... I think they look more like rocket boosters. It's got that fuselage style, body style. It's got the rocket boosters. There's two on each side. You know, at that RT, it's it's got a nice refined look to it but this is this is this means business straight at you yeah. and we have our first super b logo there and the other thing of course is we have the spoiler on this one mm -hmm. which is wonderful while we're in the back let's make sure we open the trunk because i want to feature that oh that says chrysler right there right yeah, there. Very, very yeah. yeah that's wonderful yeah and look at the condition. This is a brand new 1971. Tell me about those brackets. Well, when I first bought the car, uh, it had all the wrong fasteners on. Yeah. So you gotta do your research, you gotta look. Like, what do you have? You look at other cars, you think, oh, is it right, is it wrong? Well, I wanna try and make this car as close to factory as I can. Yeah. And now That's it's, I, now it's right. Came up with. Yeah. Now it's right. And look at, the interior or what you're looking truck. at is what restorations by Julius did back in the early 90s mm -hmm. um, wonderful artwork for what he did mm -hmm. back what he had available he did an amazing a really good job let's show the side of this car that body that you were sharing the fuselage the body. fuselage <laughs> body let me just sit right there for a second Our second Super B emblem comes up here. And these are a little bit bigger than the trunk. So we have Super B here. Bugs love it too. And the bugs love it too. Now what is the color of this car? It's a uh, tawny gold. Uh, it's GY9 is the paint code. And the higher the number, the darker the color. So the nine's a darker color. Yep. And this stripe goes Side stripe goes if you right around the 71 Super B's and Charger RT. You could get a stripe elite car though. Brown? Yes. Uh, actually, no. The paint code for this, the the vinyl top code is V. Uh, 
we'll have to look, but it is a gold. It's not brown, it's not white, it's not black. This almost Ooh. looks green right now. It does, against yeah. that. Yeah. So this looks more brownish, goldish, and this looks more greenish, metallic. Yeah, especially with the, the all that yeah. metallic in there. A little fatter in the back, yes? Yes. No, yes, that looks... I love that look. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful some, stance. It's like they're, 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 they're almost too fat. The factory did not offer that size, but yeah. Kelsey Tire has come out with a knockout replacement for what they used to do back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. Can't see And one of the things you'll notice is no wipers, which there are wipers, of course. They're concealed wipers, which I thought was a great idea. I wish they'd come back with that because it looks smooth. You know, this is an important badge for sure. Let me show you our big B. That's in your face. That That's one. in your face. That one we don't forget. And the hood pins. And also, Steve, tell me about these. Now, these are your turn signal markers, but that's unique for this it, car. It is. Well, it is a light package that you could have ordered on any car. Yeah. But for some reason, uh, this car, being a Super B, you had to order every little bit. The hood pins, the Ram Charger hood came standard with this uh, Hemi. But for a standard Super B, you had bench seat, you had manual steering, manual brakes. Uh, a 3 3 Magnum was standard, right. a 3 speed standard was no cost, if you wanted a 4 speed you had to pay, if you wanted an automatic you had to pay. So if you had a Hemi, you had to pay good money to get that. Almost a third of the price of the car was wrapped up in that motor. And then when you tie that in with the houndstooth interior, we're the bucket seats. Keep talking, it, I'm going to show the front wall and we're going to get to that interior. You get Go the ahead. hood pins, you get the, the spoilers. Upgraded 15 inch rally wheels with the G60 15 tires. Like this car probably would have been cheaper to buy a Charger RT back in the day because it would have come standard with a lot of that stuff. Love that chin spoiler. Look at that. It wraps around. I'm still learning a lot about these cars. That's I'm fascinated with what you could do back in the day. The Dodge emblem. Let's take a look at that interior we're sharing. Sure. So let's look at your houndstooth interior. And the buddy seat. And the buddy seat. Yeah. So explain the buddy seat. Well, like I said, the Super B was a bench seat standard fare. If you wanted more, you had to tick it off. You could have got a console. You could have got a buddy seat. You could have got none of that, just a four speed shifter. And this shifter is unique because it comes up and wraps around the buddy seat. Oh, really? Floor mats aren't original. Those are just a nice little touch. And you drive this occasionally. I, I'm going to try to drive it more. This is actually my driver. <laughs> this is the driver. Yes. I still work on it. I still do a lot of things. If I find a little thing here and there that's not quite correct, I, you know what? I'll, I'll change it. Now, is this original miles? I believe that is. When I got it, I had just uh, under 40, 45,000. Wow. And with the tack too, that was an option. That wasn't standard fare with a hand. I think it would be. What made you purchase a Hemi? Just the fact that you said you dreamt about it? Yeah, it's like the top of the food chain. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you don't get any better than this. And if you're a 71 Charger guy, yes. this is the this is the holy grail. And the Super B, there's our last Super B there on the it was the first year that they put it on the chart. Dashboard. Tell me about this. That's that's the one that you've got to look for. The fifth digit is always the one that really matters. The WM23 is your Super B. Tell me about the date of this car being and built. It's built the same month I was born. So that's another reason why <laughs> this car I was this meant car. to be yeah, yours. I really I've known about this car for years, and I could when it came up for sale, I thought all the lines have got it line up straight. I, I drove it at Carlisle Nationals in July and it took till October to make the deal and all I did during that whole time was dream about the car 
and my mistake was all I did was move it out of the tent into the sun. I didn't even take it for a test drive, That's and I knew I had to have it. I had to have the car. Let's see under the hood, shall we? Yeah, for sure. Let's take a look. Damn it. I dreamt about this car. Truly the you know, dream car. I've been married for a long time. Yes. And if it wasn't for my wife being patient and allowing me to have this stuff, she's amazing. And my little guy, he's eight years old. Now, oh, yeah. And he knows all about the Hemi. Really? Oh, yeah. Even in the new Dodge trucks. <laughs> look, at, look, at the, look at the correct hosing. Yeah, the boys at Mega Parts. I don't know if I'm allowed to plug them. Plug them. They're, they're, they're great to deal with. They, if they have something that's not correct, they'll work their butts off to get it right. Um, if it wasn't for them to help us restore these cars, I don't know. There's other guys out there for sure. Lots of room here. Yes, and uh, I'm, I'm ru it's rumored that people used to put cases of beer in there. Cases, ice, the cooler, <laughs> you got a lot of room in there. I haven't done it. You got two tags. Yes, sir. Uh, the, the cars that were built in St. Louis, uh, the Roadrunners were built there too. And those tags, where they did, for whatever reason, they just used to litter those tags with codes. And every code means business. Like the color of the car, the transmission, the N96 is the Ram Charger hood, the date in which it was built is C1, so the December of 70. Mm. Uh, the side stripe, uh, there's the spoiler package on there. Like it's, it's awesome. I might not have the build sheet for this car, but I'm lucky enough to have the tags that have all the codes. All the information. Let's fire it up, shall we? For sure. Before we shut it off, let's shut the hood, let's show them how the air grabber works. Yeah. Just a side note. Yeah. This is my moment of 70 period. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't do these, I'm gonna forget. Yeah, make sure we do those. that off for a moment. This is this is the one that started it all for me. <laughs> you started it all oh, yeah. for him. And, if it, and it. if it wasn't for my stepfather as well. He's, Come on uh, over. This is Come a family affair for sure. So let's get a little turn turn yep. over in the sun. Yeah. Keep turning. There we are. All right, so mom, Steve's giving you a lot of props on uh, drag racing. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got him started on this. Yes, I did. He said he used to dream about this car. Yeah, I did. Is he that did accurate? Forever, yeah. Oh, that is great. That style for sure. Well, what a wonderful way to end the day today. We've got uh, subscribed to the channel. 
hit the bell because it doesn't get better than this. Guys, thanks for being on my car story. No par, no car. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. <laughs>